Hey, Connor, Mr. Griffith here. Uh, I wanted to put together a video on just a couple of, of basics for playing the bass, um, including uh, note reading, just a reminder on some strategies that you can use to be successful at note reading. Um, but also I wanted to show you some some stuff on, on the instrument as well. So uh, I'm gonna have to move the camera around a little bit, so it's gonna get a little shaky, but um, you know, just as a warning. So what I've done here behind me you can kind of see that. Um, hopefully, you can see it okay. Um, basically, what I've done is I've I've written up the, the D major scale, and so this is this is all the notes in the D major scale, starting on D, and then they go all the way up to the high D. And so, uh, what I wanted to share with you is that when you're reading note names, the most important thing to look for is the note head. And so, let me show you what I'm talking about there. Let me just put the bass down for a second. So when I'm talking about the note head, what I'm talking about is the little circle part down here. So this, this guy right here is called the note head. If I erase the stem and keep the note head there, we could still call that a D. And the reason is because the, the thing that matters most about note names is where is the note head? Is it on a line? Or is it on a space like E is? And so as you can see here, D is on the middle line of the bass clef staff. And so as we move up, E is on the next space. F sharp is on the next line up. G and then A, B. And then C sharp and D start to get up higher off the staff, and so they're on what are called ledger lines. And so here's C sharp. You can see that the ledger line goes oops, straight through it, uh, th uh, through the note head. And then, and then here D is kind of sitting like right on top of the ledger line. So again, you want to pay attention to where the note head is. The stems don't matter. And in fact, I can show you. If I erase all of the stems, you'll see that all the, all the note heads are in the same spot. And you can still tell which notes that they are based on which line or space or, or how high or low on the, on the, on the staff they are. So I'm going to put those, those uh, stems back in there just because... So there's a, there's a couple other things that I want to that I want to share with you. Um, at the beginning of the piece of music, so we have our clef. This is called bass clef, and then right next door to the bass clef is this thing right here. This is called the key signature. Now you notice how I I call this F sharp and this C sharp, which is kind of weird because there's no sharp next to the F here. And there's no sharp next to the C over here. So how do I know that they're F sharp and C sharp? Well, that's because if you look in the key signature, this sharp symbol right there, this is on the F line. And so if we trace that all the way across, boom, we're gonna, we're gonna um, pass right through where the note head is. Again, that's why the note head is important because it tells us exactly which line or space, or in other words, what note name uh, we're playing. Now, this other one here is C sharp. And we know that because if this is if this middle line is D, we just go one, one note before that, that's C sharp. But then why is this one up here a C sharp? The reason is because in the key signature, if there is a sharp note, that means that all of those notes are sharp, which means that every single F sharp that you would see is an F sharp, and every single C sharp is a C sharp. So that's kind of the tie in here. That's why this is an F sharp, that's why that's a C sharp. And then right next to the key signature, there's this thing called the, the time signature. Okay, so that kind of covers all the, the note reading stuff. Now let me show you exactly how to play this. Uh, I'm going to show you exactly what the left hand is going to look like. I'm going to show you how to shift. 
and, and all the kinds of mechanics and, and stuff like that. So feel free to pause the video, rewind, and watch it again as, as often as you need to. So let me grab the base really quick. Now you notice also, up above each note in the red, I've indicated a finger number. So this is just as a, as a reminder. Um, as we go further this way, you notice I have a dash. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but there's a dash right there next to the two. What that dash means is shift. And so I'll show you, I'll show you what that looks like on, on the bass um, so that you have a visual too and, and you know what the term is. So the dash means shift and we play the C sharp with a second finger, okay? And then the last note that we're gonna play is a D with a fourth finger. So again, I'm gonna show you what all that looks like. So here, let me shrink the camera just a bit. Okay, that's better. So I'll try to get out of the way as best as I can so you can see what I'm playing and then how it applies to the, the, the notes behind me. So we'll see if I get a little bit over here. Okay, so we're gonna start off on an open D. That's an easy one. Anytime I'm talking about an open string, I'm gonna use the finger number zero because there's no fingers that you're gonna put down. The next note that we play is E and that we're gonna use with our first finger. So the first finger is gonna go right on that first tape. Now, I want you to notice a couple things. I have my fingers, I'll show you from the side, my fingers are just kind of hovering. They're not down and they're not pulled away. My fingers are kind of hovering over because I know that the next note after E is an F sharp, which is right here on the tape. And so after I play the E, the next note that I'm gonna play is F sharp. Now notice what I'm doing with my hand. I've got a big space here in between my first and second finger. My third finger's down, and then my fourth finger is exactly right on that tape. I'm gonna have my elbow up, just like this, okay? And then my thumb is gonna be right behind that second finger right there, okay? So here's the F sharp. Okay, now the next note right here, that's our open G. So again, I use uh, the zero finger number. There it is. The next note is an A, and so I'm gonna play that A with a first finger again, just like I did with the E. The next note is B. Okay, now this is where the shift happens. So what, what, when, what happens when you shift is the whole hand moves at the same time. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So watch my thumb and watch my fingers. I'm gonna slide my fingers up here. Okay, so notice my thumb moved with the hand, just like that. So thumb moves with the hand. Okay, now I'll show you what it looks like on this uh, from the front. So here I am, I just played the B right there. I'm gonna slide, boom, there I am. Now notice I've got my second finger in between the third and the fourth tape. That's how you play this C sharp. Okay, so it sounds like this. And then the last note over here is D, and that we're gonna play with a fourth finger. And that's an easy one because you're already in position, so you just put your fourth finger down, and that's it. So I'm gonna go through the whole scale again uh, a bit faster. So the first note is a D. Next note is an E. Then F sharp. Then G. Now what's cool about this process is that 
even though we're going through the D major scale specifically, you can use the same kind of process to go through all the other scales that, that we've worked on, the G major scale and then also the C major scale. Um, so if it's helpful, I can make you some videos on, on those as well, but at least this will, this will kind of get us started on um, some of the basics of note reading, um, you know, some of the basics of the music terms and things like that that we see in our music, and then also some of the basics of just getting our hand shape on the instrument and the shift. So uh, if you have any questions or if there's something more that you would like to see or something, uh, just let me know. Okay, I'm happy to help. Have a great day. Bye-bye.